Hey guys, so you just finished doing a render, but you forgot to set where you were saving it to. Don't fret, it's stored in your temporary folder. So what I'm talking about is if we go to the output tab down here, let me just stop the animation for a moment, and uh, we've got the output section here, it's set to slash temp. Now, if you are rendering something out, I'd advise to render it as an image rather than an individual movie. Of course, you can view your render animation here. Oh, I just broke it. Oh, man. Well, this is one of the things that happens when you don't read the screen properly before you go ahead and click. Now, this is a great example. I did mention about animations to begin with. This is now 24 minutes of my life that I'm just going to re-render. I went off and had a cup of tea and rested for a few moments. But the point is you can recover from this sort of situation, especially if you've rendered out as images. I'm just going to let this breeze pass now and I'll see you back in a few moments. Okay, so I was going to warn you about that. If you have done something like this and you've not set your render output folder correctly, then you're going to end up, um, if you go ahead and render the animation again, if you've rendered it as a movie instead of individual images, you'll do what I've just done and completely nuke what you had already done. So that's just a word of warning. Oh, at least we've learned something here. I'm an idiot. Let's go. Okay, if we go ahead and click view animation, this will then go ahead and play through the animation. Uh, unfortunately, I rendered it at 720p just to speed things up. So it's a little tiny here. And as we can see, it's very stuttery, but that's only the first time through. The next time through, it will just whir away. So we've got our animation here, but we've got no access to it. How do we go ahead and get it? Well, it's very straightforward. On a Mac, you're going to go to Finder. You're going to go up to the very top, but we need to go to Go and go down to go to folder. You can also use the shortcut key, shift, command, and G if you want to. Once we've done that, I'll retype it here, forward slash TMP. We press enter, there we go. We've got the movie that I completely balked because I re-rendered it, and then we've got all of these frames, and you can rescue it from there. Of course, if you re-render something, you might overwrite some of these, but if all you need to do is re-render a couple of frames, then you'll see straight away that this is a real time saver. So there are two things that you can do right now to ensure that this doesn't happen to you. The first one is whenever you're rendering, go ahead and set an output folder. So in the properties panel, what we can do is beneath the render one, we've got one that looks like a printer. I think that's what it's supposed to be. You need to find the area that says output. Now, I think this is in a slightly different order than what you would usually find. But under output, set yourself a folder that you can render to that's not the temporary folder. Okay, the other place is going into preferences and making sure this never happens to you again. You don't have to dig through that temp folder. If we go down to file paths, we can see here we've got a render output folder. At the moment, it's set to slash slash. If you set that to your documents folder or your pictures folder or wherever you want to render to, then you won't have to go digging into hidden folders ever again. That about wraps up this tutorial. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next one.